at Linda's parents' house, things have gone from bad to worse. These shoes aren't even staying on. The straps on the bridesmaid's shoes that James bought don't fit. For Linda, it's the final straw. The whole day has been ruined. You just not organise anything. <laughs> Can you just do that for a minute? The ceremony is due to begin in 15 minutes, and Linda's makeup will have to be reapplied a third time. Everyone's finally ready to go. But now there's a problem with the cars. We're going to have to do two journeys, I think, still, aren't we? The thing is, we're not going to have the time to do it. It's the only chance we can get the bridesmaids in the car all together. We can take three in one car and three in the other, but that means, no, it can't be possible. My daughter and father go separately. Knowing that Linda's in no mood to be flexible, her mum offers to travel separately. You two girls. Well, I'm not starting with that yet. Stay calm. I will be there. I will not miss your day. Right? Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I want you lot to take the first two cars then. No, 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 no. I want you to take the first two cars. I will wait. Because the show can't start without me. You need to be there. No. Go. And he can wait. Hey. Yes. There's a problem with the cars. Awesome. They will only take two in each. Oh, three. Fine. So Linda's saying that she wants yeah. to wait here. As soon as we can come, you go. Okay. Go on. Right then, so we'll see you in so a bit. So we'll see you. Right see you in a bit. That's all right, it's no problem. Words got back that the bride is still at home. With the ceremony now running an hour late, Makeney Hall's wedding coordinator steps in. Is there okay. anybody that can bring her here? Um, the answer is no, we're going to have to get a taxi. But will Linda go with that? Unfortunately, because of the logistics, okay. it's either we get married or we don't. And I know that's really harsh. I wouldn't but... tell her that. No, no, no. <laughs> but... let, let me have a word with Linda, maybe a little bit more tax free like than that. that. Yeah. There's a telephone call for you. Who is it? From Sam. He wants to speak to you. Yeah. Hiya, Linda, how are you? Fine, what? Okay, please, great. please don't say what you're going to say, Sam, because I'll go mad. OK, so you wouldn't like your dad to bring you to the... I wouldn't. Let's just put it this way, the day is ruined. Okay. You don't know how mad I am. Um, well, the two options we've got is either waiting sort of about an hour for the cars to come back, and obviously that really squashes everything in the rest of the day, mm -hmm. or getting the cars maybe to meet you sort of three-quarters of the way out, sort of quarter of the way here. So I have to swash my dress in their car that's got dog hairs in it? Is that pretty much a no? Yeah, it is a pretty much a no. At the end of the day, he will have to wait. This is his mess. He can wait and he can explain to everybody why I'm not there. <laughs> OK, then. Bye. No problem. He wants my dad to bring us in their car. What's the, what's the verdict? Well, the last phrase was, OK, then, bye. So take a guess. She's waiting for the cars to come back. Let's send the cars straight away and get here as fast as we can. All right. All thank right. You, Not a Cheers. problem. My pleasure, my darling. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to... I'm just going to get out here for a second.